Ryzen 9, 16 cores in the mainstream? Have the next generation Ryzen specs just been leaked? Let's find out. So recently, the specs of what might be the next generation of Ryzen processors have been leaked. The leaks include a buff up on the Ryzen 3, 5, and 7 processors. They also include what looks to be a new lineup of processors, Ryzen 9. So starting off with Ryzen 3, the 3300 is said to be a 6-core with hyper-threading, and it might have a base of 3.2GHz and a boost of 4GHz. All of this is estimated to be priced at $100, and the chip is said to only consume 50 watts of power. If this is all true, this chip might rival the 2200G. Next up, the 3300X packs another 6 cores and 12 threads, with a higher 3.5GHz base and 4.3GHz boost. That boost in speed also increases the TDB to 65 watts. Next is the 3300G, and this is an interesting one. Same core count as the last two, same 65 watt TDP as the 3300X. The clock speeds are lower with a 3 GHz base and a 3.8 GHz boost. It's possible that this is a new APU because of the G, but that is just my prediction. Next is the Ryzen 5 3600. It's an 8 core with 16 threads with a 3.6 GHz base and a boost up to 4.4 GHz. This is all under a 65 watt TDP and comes in at $178. The next possible Ryzen 5 is a 3600X, again 8 cores, 16 threads with a higher 4 GHz base and a 4.8 GHz boost. The TDP is higher at 95 watts and so is the price at 229. Next is another APU, the 3600G. This has again a hyper 8 core with a lower 3.2 GHz base and a 4 GHz boost. But with that lower clock speed, you possibly are getting an integrated Navi graphics solution. Same goes for the 3300G. The price is also lower at $199, and this also has a 95W TDP. Next is Ryzen 7. Starting off with the 3700, it features 12 cores and 24 threads, a 3.8GHz base, and a 4.6GHz boost with 95W TDP. The 3700X is another 12 core with 24 threads, with a 4.2 GHz base and 5 GHz boost, the 105 watt TDP, all at $329. Now on to the rumored 9 chips. The first one is the Ryzen 9 3800X, with 16 cores and 32 threads. You heard me right, 16 cores. And the crown of all of the leaked Ryzen CPUs is the 16 core, 24 thread Ryzen 9 3850X. It has a 4.3 GHz base and a 5.1 GHz boost, making it the fastest of all of these rumored chips. The TDP is also the highest at 135 watts, and the price is $499. Now, take these specs with a grain of salt. These are just leaks and will only be confirmed at the upcoming CES. But if these are true, I'm hoping to get the 3300. In comparison to the 2200G, you get two more cores and hyper-threading, plus the higher clock speeds. And there's also the two APUs, the 3300G and 3600G, which this time around, if they're released, they won't have 8 or 11 Vega compute cores, but instead Navi cores, AMD's rumored new graphics card series. This time around, it seems that the Ryzen 3s are going to replace the Ryzen 5s in the price category, and sort of in the specs too. The Ryzen 5 2600 is a $150 6-core 12-thread chip, the 3.4 GHz base and a 4.3 GHz boost. And now, the next gen Ryzen 5 chips are more expensive, but the Ryzen 3 3300 and 3300X are $100 and $130 respectively, and they're in the same ballpark in specs and predicted prices are cheaper. And now onto the Ryzen 5s, you can get an 8 cores and 16 threads on a $200. The R3, 5, 7, and 9 should support overclocking, so the price of performance just keeps getting better here. And don't forget the 12-core Ryzen 7s and 16-core Ryzen 9s, which are more expensive, but of course, the cores and threads are higher, the speeds are faster, and these are mainstream chips. So, if Ryzen 9 does become a thing, you wouldn't have to get an expensive motherboard, because while I wouldn't recommend it, you could technically get a B450 board, and it would run, probably, not a great idea, but it's possible. Anyways, hopefully some of these leaks are true. I'm assuming the current B450 and X470 chipsets are supported without a BIOS flash, but we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you didn't, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.